your week going? This week was really just kind of crazy, right? With all the changes and everything, um, I think everybody is just doing what they can and I hope you guys are doing okay at home. Well, I thought I would take a quick second to just hopefully boost the morale and get our blood pumping a little bit. Um, just a quick little workout. It's a basic Joseph Pilates routine, um, but just follow along the best you can. If you have any questions, feel free to text me and um, I'll answer as best I can, or I'll videotape something for you and send it your way. Um, yeah, so we're gonna, I'm gonna go through all these Pilates exercises just one from one to the other. Uh, and then we'll cool down after that, stretch out, and hopefully that'll make you feel good. Love you guys and miss you guys, Pilates family. So, all right, let's begin. And from here, we're gonna go ahead. All you need, by the way, is just a mat. It's just your body and a mat, and that's all you need. Okay, so you're gonna start at the edge of the mat. And we're gonna do three roll up, roll downs. So you're gonna go into a tabletop position with your arms, 90 degree angle with your body. Take a deep breath, inhale, on your exhale, we're gonna roll down. You're gonna pull your pelvic muscles in or your low abdominals in for the men. Roll down, one vertebrae at a time. You guys know these exercises, but eh, we'll go through it. Take a deep breath, inhale. On your exhale, round chin for chest. You're gonna compress those ribs, tighten the pelvic floor, and reach overhead toward your toes. Make a C curve. So your arms are by your ears. Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, pull the abs in, roll up through your abdominals. Try to fill every single section and then elongate through the crown of your head. Inhale, exhale, roll down. We're gonna do three low abs, middle abs, upper abs, stretch. Inhale, exhale, rounding. And reaching up and over, pull up into those lungs a bit. Inhale, exhale, squeeze your abs, roll up one vertebrae at a time, shoulders down. Let's reach up, stretch, 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 stretch. Inhale, tabletop, exhale, roll down. Low abdominals, pulling toward the floor, middle, upper, stretch, reach. Inhale, exhale, press the arms down by your side. Shoulders are back, collarbones are open. Close the ribs, connect with the floor, connect with the abdominals. Try not to pull in tension into the hip flexor. Stretch the arms along by your side. We're gonna go into leg circles. So you can stretch your leg up to 90 degrees. And just to remind you guys, don't bend your knee. I don't wanna see that, right? So even if you're at 80 degrees, pushing out into that hamstring, pushing down into the sit bone, don't let your hip hike up. Right, you're gonna keep that down to the floor. All right, so the key with this is stability, right into the hips. Don't let yourself wiggle around. All right, we're gonna do 10 each way. We're gonna inhale, circling, exhale, shh, punching up to 90 degrees, low abs tight. We're gonna inhale, exhale, shh, three, shh, we're going for 10, four, shh, and five, shh, and six, shh, left, I wiggled seven, and eight, and nine, and 10, hold, reach, 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 and reverse, and down, cross, and two, and three. Squeezing those little abdominals, and five, and six, I don't know about you, but I feel it, and a couple more, two more, and one. Stretch, and bring it down, hold. I feel it, it's all right here, I should feel it more right here. Okay, stretch your left leg, Extending up, hold, and begin 10 times, and cross, corner, up, two, and three, right, you're gonna breathe in, and exhale as you kick, four, five, keep going, two more, and one, reverse, and down, and two, cross, kick, three, down, cross, kick, and five, and six, and seven, eight, and nine, and ten. Oh, and bring it down, awesome. Cross that ankle over the knee, and bring that right knee into the chest. So this is your pretzel stretch, you guys know how to do this. So don't forget, you're gonna reach in between and grab your hamstring, pull it toward you. 
Okay, now my blood's pumping a little. Okay, so you're gonna circle, you're gonna do those three nice circles I'm pulling in. Try to relax your neck. Gotta release some of that tension from a stressful, stressful week. So we're gonna circle, inhale, exhale. What do we do on exhale? We pull the abdominals toward our low back. And inhale, exhale. Pulling as far as you can without letting your butt lift for now. Okay, reverse. Remember that it's not a foot circle. See that? That's not doing anything for my hips. It's a hip movement. So I'm circling my right thigh and I'm imagining that bone circling my socket. Meanwhile, I push down into here. If you want more of a stretch, you can push your knee away from you and then back down. Right? Good stuff. Okay, bring it down. Other leg, stretch, cross it over. Bring that left thigh into the stomach. It's good to just kind of distress and move. We definitely need our serotonin levels lifted, right? <laughs> so I'm going to circle that knee and into the stomach or chest. And circle. And in. So really watch your knee, see if it's moving. Even if you're tight. Circle and in. And reverse. So notice my foot or ankle is crossed right in front of that knee. Sometimes some people I see will cross their knee in like that. Don't let it cross over too far. For now. Good, that feels good. So you're pulling in. Good. Okay, so from here, we're gonna bring the legs down and stretch our arms out to a T. Cross your right leg all the way over and bring both hips over one another. So outside hip over bottom hip. Try, oh my, share that, my back popped. Try to get that chest to open up. Don't let your shoulders pull forward like this, right? You're pressing what? Scapulas. <sighs> Once you get that down, you're gonna keep reaching that leg over. Try to get that back to open up, but don't push. Try to kind of relax into it, believe it or not. A couple seconds there. Mm, that feels good. And then we're gonna bring that back through the middle. Take your hips over, back into your center. Your palms are up and cross left leg over right. Bring both knees over and hip over hip. So you're trying to align those bones, right? What pop again? Watch out for sway back. See that little arch? It kind of helps to be near a mirror so you can see yourself, but. This tailbone area, you want to tuck it and reach it out. I'm going to lengthen and hold. Ooh, I'm tight right in that left arm. I don't know if you can see that. So see, to adjust that, I want to move this a little bit, and I'm going to press into that lap, okay, and then try to get this shoulder bone to pull back, you guys. A lot of you guys are in this position, right? So I'm going to pull that back, which is scapular control. Feels good. If you want to further stretch, you stretch that leg away. Yeah, I'm pretty tight right up in those shoulder muscles. Okay, back to center, squeezing the abdominals. Okay, pardon me, I'm going to adjust this little door. I'll come right back to you. Okay, all right. So next exercise, let's get into the blood pumping a little bit further. All right, so let's get into um, our hundreds, shall we? Here's the part where we're gonna just really keep moving. If you want more of a challenge, you could do a set of 10 and then double it up with another set of 10, okay? All right, so first set, focus on form, focus on your placement. You know, you guys know, holding those hip bones, not clenching in that pelvic area, right? Holding that ducktail, trying to relax those hip flexors, but then tightening, <sighs> I don't know if you can see that there, feel those abdominals closing those ribs, connecting all these muscles. All right, so here we go. Let's go into hundreds. We're gonna stretch the arms, go to tabletop position, take a deep breath in place, inhale. Exhale, reach up to the ceiling, round forward, and reach, reach, reach those arms. Shoulder blades are pulling toward your hips. Inhale, exhale, stretch the legs, extend. Let's turn out to a tiny little plotty stance, stretching those legs. If you want more of a challenge, you can go lower. If this is harder in your low back, bring it up to where your low abs are still holding. 
Let's begin. We're gonna pump in place and inhale two, three, four, five, exhale. Two. Rest in your head. Bring the knees in, hug them. Rock just a little bit. From here, we're gonna grab behind the knees. Going into roll like a ball. Round your head towards your knees. Make your back like a little rocking chair leg, right? Okay, we're gonna rock back and forth like a rocking chair. The key is the pressure in your legs into your arms and your pelvic floor squeezing. So you're gonna inhale, exhale forward. Inhale, lift and rock. Hold and balance. Try not to touch the floor. You're gonna inhale, roll back. Hold, hold. Inhale, roll back. Keep okay, low. Or low abs. One more. Hold. And that was me not focusing. Okay, rolling down. Next one, single leg series. Let's move on. And right foot, right knee inside, right foot to the knee. Inhale, two. Go into tabletop, align. Exhale, two. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, right knee in. Make sure this one's stretching. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, good. Keep going. I noticed my shoulders were up toward my ears. I need to pull those down. Two more. And one, I don't know if you feel about you, but I feel this way now. So you're gonna right leg extend, pulling the scissor. What do you wanna do? Shoulders on up, butt down, pull one. Switch, brush your ankle, two. Brush three. Brush four. And five, so the idea is you're stretching everything like a rubber band, really pulling. Tension out of the neck. Inhale, exhale. Two more. And one. Good, from here, bring the knees in. Roll down for a second. Rest that neck, shake it side to side. <sighs> right, going into double leg stretch. I'm gonna round forward hold. Make sure at the base of your shoulder blade, stretching arms and legs. 45 degrees, like you're trying to grab something on the ceiling. Ready? Reach, circle, pull in. Stretch, circle, and three. Try to get that 45 degree angle. Six. Keep going. Couple more, two more. And one, really stretch around, squeeze. Good, rest for a second. Woo, get out, feel it. Okay, so arms down. Here's your options. You can bring your hands behind your butt, or you can just press them down into the floor. You can have your head lifted, as long as it's far enough forward, or you can have it down resting if you're next body in today. Okay? All right. So I'll show you both versions. We're going to do leg lowers, extend up. You can work in parallel. Here it's parallel, right? Or turn out, okay? I, for some, a lot of you guys, I want you to work in turnout because you want to build these muscles that have not developed as much. If you're a naturally introverted person, right, try to develop these muscles a little bit more. Okay, all right, so here we go. Leg lowers, head, with the head down, this is this version, let's do 10. You're gonna inhale, lower, exhale, pull the pelvic muscles toward the floor, lower abdominals for the men. So you're gonna inhale, exhale. Don't plunk your quads and hip flexor. Believe it or not, try to relax that hip flexor. Pull in with these tough muscles. Don't let them pooch out. Pull into the floor. Inhale, exhale. This is head lifted version. And good, reaching. Couple more, two more. Very nice, then one. Good, from here, knees in, pumps behind your head. Back to legs with single leg series, this is our twist. We're gonna inhale, reaching back with that right elbow. Exhale, looking at that left elbow. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. When you switch, don't let your knees come apart. Inhale, right. Exhale. Inhale, try 
to get that knee. And a couple more. Two more. By the way, watch out for your knee going out. Right? One more. Good. And rest. So I'll tell you what, when you're trying to get all those positions, you should feel a little bit of a burn already right here. That was awesome, you guys. Okay. So moving on. Let's go ahead to arms down by your side. Okay? Hips in alignment, right? Knees in line with your hips. Opening those collarbones. Let's go for our bridge. Some of us might have a tight back today. Right, so from here, we're going to inhale. On your exhale, pull those muscles to the floor, those little abdominals. Think of your sit bones pulling towards your kneecaps, elongating toward the ceiling, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Watch out for a hyperextension. You want to keep that nice elongated, elongated spine. Okay, inhale. We're going to do three. Exhale. Roll down here to get every vertebrae. Remember not to tense up to those shoulders, right? Trying to get every single one all the way through, take your time, then going into your neutral, right? Okay, inhale, exhale, pulling in, tuck, pull those butt bones toward your kneecaps. You can even think of maybe stretching your quads, I can work on that too, I'm gonna feel the cramp. Collarbones opening, lengthening through the crown of the head, inhale, exhale, upper back, touch, try to get every one. Upper back, by closing the ribs, middle abs, to middle back, Pull those hips away, reaching out all the way through. Ooh, hamstring cramp. <laughs> okay, this made me think of Jen. <laughs> so if you get a cramp, you can just flex that foot and keep it up for a second. Okay, next one, which is actually part of the next part, next section. So inhale, exhale, tilt, squeeze the low abdominals, feel them, no abs, tightening all the way up. Don't pop your ribs. Keep them in, right? Okay, let's walk the feet a little closer. We're gonna go right leg up to 90 degrees. Flex your foot, push up that hip as you kick that down to the floor. Okay, 10, point up, flex, push that right hip up as you press down the leg. Point up, flex, and four, flex, and five, and six, hold those back muscles, and seven, and eight, Two more. And one. Great for the glutes and hammies. Stretch up left leg. One. Flex and reach. And two. Okay, squeeze. And three. Now I notice that my left leg wants to turn out a little bit. So I gotta work on that alignment. Not letting it turn out. Trying to keep it in line with the hip. Keep going. Inhale. Exhale. Press. Two more. And one. Foot down, hold it, tucking under or pulling this butt bone through your kneecaps. Inhale, exhale, upper back, middle back, low back, reaching out of the spine and neutral. It's kind of interesting to speak as I'm moving with you guys. So it's like, oh, I have to keep this, all those body parts in place too. All right, so. Did we do our scissors? Yeah, we did our scissors. Okay, so let's go ahead and sit up for a minute. Go around up. Ah, fixing you guys. How was that for your first little section? So we have a couple more little body parts. Let's see how far we are with this. Oh, gosh, we're almost into 20 minutes already. Okay, so I love those exercises because they get a lot of body parts all within those particular exercises. So let's focus on our side obliques for just a moment and also a bit of our back muscles, okay? So I think what we'll do is let's face the other way just for some variety. Bring our stomach onto the mat. And uh, so let's start with, um, it's a half swan. With the palms, you're gonna bring them by the shoulders. Squeeze, 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 squeeze your blades. Feet are gonna flex and you're just gonna push into those heels back behind you. Okay, so you're pulling your elbows toward your hips, kind of like chicken wings. You're gonna elongate through the crown of your head, right? Okay, so just focus on pressing the shoulders back, back, back. Remember I talked about those shoulder extensors? Tighten those little abdominals. You're gonna roll the shoulders back, two, three. And I actually need to work through this too. And back, two, three. So it's just a tiny little movement. You're trying to pull those blades back there together. If you don't feel the middle of your back, you're probably not pulling them tight enough, right? 
Okay, from here, you're gonna stretch overhead, pull the elbows back toward the hips and try to squeeze those low abdominals in. Stretch, inhale, exhale. Pulling those elbows to the hips, but elongate that neck, don't crunch it up, keep it down. Stretching overhead, arms by your ears, press. One more stretch and press. Okay, rest for a second. Ah, oh, I'm taking that. <laughs> I feel better already. <laughs> Probably look like a slug. All right, so here we go. Next part, the hard part. All right, so let's do, um, I think I'd like stick them up. Stick them up, okay? So you're gonna try to get your sternum to lift up like your heart is looking up toward the corner of the ceiling, right? So point your low back. You know, some of us have more of a hyperextension. I have a more hyperextension. Um, if it's really, really bothering you, you could put a little towel underneath your belly to help support that. That sometimes helps me. Um, but otherwise, just keep those little abdominals pulling up in tight, okay? All right, so we're gonna do chest lifts. And here we go. So squeeze those blades, keep those shoulders down toward your hips. You're gonna inhale, exhale, press up. One, it's a tiny little sternum lift. Two, and three, four. Now I am putting my feet and I am lifting my thighs just a little bit. If you want more extension four. Couple more, and two more, and one, good, and rest. Hands down, on your knees, push back in the cat stretch. We're gonna push the chest between the knees onto the floor. Okay, now sometimes I see people like this. See my spine here, right? So keep trying to press your ribs down, 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 toward the floor, easier said than done. Maybe you can have a family member push on you. <laughs> okay, another thing I see sometimes is because hips are so tight, they're up like you're like up, up here, right? Try to get your butt to touch your feet. And then, you know, we're all tight. Lats, all that good stuff, right? Keep trying to get that armpit down to the floor. So that's a little bit of uh, rib cage flexibility, but just hold there. Hmm, feels good. Okay, so take a deep breath, inhale, exhale. We're gonna roll up, low back. Sit down your heels, middle back. Ooh, needed that. Okay, good, you guys. I hope this is kind of fun for you. Um, let's go into a little bit more stretching and then we'll do side obliques. So you're gonna go into all fours since we're here, right? Okay, you're gonna bring your left knee right in the middle. So see where that knee is? Here, here's my hips, right in the middle of the hands. Notice I'm not on top of the knee, I'm almost on the side of it, if you can do that, okay? Just stretch that bottom leg. Now, some people, they do this. They open those hips to avoid the hip. Try to keep them in a straight line. And, Mike, I know you need this one. And you're gonna push down. And up. And hit. Pretty much all of this. <laughs> okay. So this one is actually a yoga, yoga exercise. It's called pigeon, but Dancers use it, flies people use it. Anyhow, you're gonna push over into that right hip. And you're gonna push over into the left hip. You're gonna push over to the right hip. Push over to the left hip, do the best you can, okay? Next one, bring the back knee in. Extend that front leg and bring it down toward your leg. You're gonna just stretch toward that left leg. Do the best you can, you might only be able to go here. Hold that stretch, push back on that left hip, and switch. Let's go right leg forward, okay? I put my hands on the mat, okay? I line up my kneecap with the middle of my hands. Then, see how my hips are open? I need to pivot, so I'm gonna kind of go to where my hips rotate, and then push down into this corner, okay? So you might be up here right now, you know, you might not be able to get down there yet. But you should feel the stretch in this area. Okay. Stretch. So you can roll over into your left hip. And then you can roll over into the right hip. I'm thinking about bones. I'm gonna push into the left hip bone. And I'm gonna push over into the right hip bone. Feel better. Bring that left knee in, right to the other foot. 
bring your right leg forward. Okay, so you're gonna lean forward into that right leg, stretch again. If I really, well this is a dancer thing, but if I really want my hip to get open, I actually pivot my bone. Does that sound too weird? <laughs> I pivot the bone in the socket. That's what it is really. So I, when, when I'm going into, if I was gonna dance in a show, I have to open up those hips and action martial arts as well. So I'll rotate and then I'll try to get on the other side and then you get that open for the rest. Oh, moving on, no showing off. Um, okay, so let's go into the last couple things here. Hopefully this isn't too long for you. Okay, I think, you know, in future workouts we can get a little bit more into the back and we'll have, you know, focal pointed exercises um, depending on the day. Uh, this has been really fun to do this workout with you guys as my first group to experience it with. So hopefully you're having a good time. All right, so moving on. So from there, uh, let's get into a little bit of triceps because we haven't done that and we have to do our side obliques, okay? So let's do side obliques first. We're gonna go ahead and go into a, it's gonna be a side plank. Let's, by the way, notice like it went hip over hip. I'm lining up shoulder with hip, hip with feet. So it's really straight line. If you really are confused, you can line up your body against the edge of the mat and go, oh, am I lined up, you know? Okay, and then you're gonna bring your outside leg forward. So from there, I push myself up as if I don't know where I am in my alignment, okay? And let's go ahead and bring the hand right underneath the shoulder. Turn out that hand, hand on the hip, okay? From here, we're gonna squeeze the legs and you're gonna push these hips. This is where our weight is up to the ceiling. Okay, from here, we're gonna push up and stretch hold. So you can reach out to, uh, I guess they call this star or mermaid. Stretching overhead is one option. Let's do it actually. So let's go to hand at the hip. We're gonna go down, hips back up. This angle's not the best, speed of stretch. Overhead, inhale, exhale at a T. Hand at the hip, down, press back up. Stretch and over, and T. Hand at the hip, down. Push the side up, over, and T, hip down, and up, stretch, over, lift up from the heart, T, and down, press up, T, over, and side, last one, down, press up, it's hard, not right shoulder, isn't it? And T, so the key is press into that lat. Okay, so let's switch, other side, awesome. So you can do more or less, depending on what you feel like. Okay, hand up the hip, let's move on, hand facing out, and squeeze the legs, Squeeze the legs together, hips up. So a key is putting your body weight almost over, like your chest is going over the arm, okay? So hand at the head, we're gonna go down. Press up, T, over and T, hip and down. Press up this side, T, over, out and down. T, over and T, again and down. Squeeze that side, over and T, and down, squeeze up. Over, empty, last two. Squeeze and hold, and over. Last one, and down. Squeeze, lift, and over, empty. Awesome, and rest. Okay, I felt that. That was awesome, so we're finished with that. Last little thing here, let's do a little bit of triceps and cool it down. Okay, so this is one our side. Let's go ahead and, it's like your shoulders in line with each other, you're just lying on your side, okay? We're gonna bring this hand across the stomach. This hand on the floor, okay, from here. Squeeze the legs, and we're gonna lift up one. Are you just lifting up into the oblique, but pressing your tricep two. Three, let's go to 10, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Jen, this will be good for your wrists. Nine, and kid, and 10. Oh gosh, I think you guys could do more. Yeah, let's do at least 15. Four and five and for Rob and Mike. How about you guys do at least twenty? <laughs> okay. And pressing it one and two. Okay. And three. Now my legs are a little bit quarter angle. I'm not. I'm straight. I'm a little bit forward. Five and six. You can't do this at all. That's okay. Nine. And ten, still might have miscounted on this, you guys. And three, and four, and five. Awesome, stretch it out. Woo. 
Feel that on my arm. So pull it out. All right. So let's, last little things here. Let's do side leg series. I'm going to spin around for you. Okay. Again, we're going to line up with the edge of the mat. This is our last little section. Bring the legs about 45 degrees. So you're kind of like a mini L. Okay. Hand behind your head. Try to keep your hips stable. Let's not do tons of these, but we'll just do a little section. So you're all here. Let's begin with really reaching out that right leg. Watch out for this bone moving. Don't move it. So you just circle up one. Real tiny. So in order to get more work in that glute, you want to stabilize and hold things still. It's actually harder to try to hold everything tight and move minimally than really move your hip around, you see. Right? This is like eh, easy, right? Now if your arm gets tired, you can just rest down here too. And so I'm just brushing my ankle and just doing little thigh circles around the socket. Okay, so you want to feel whether that's moving around. I was moving a little bit. Okay, so reverse. So I'm squeezing my butt and I'm pushing those muscles. You can even, you know, touch and check. Am I pushing them? Am I holding those muscles? And one. Okay, from here, let's do inhale, exhale. We're going to go 90 degrees. You're going to press back 45 degrees. Watch this. But not with that hip. Right? You're holding it still. So put your hand there. Don't move it. And shoot a double kick. You're going to press back 45 degrees. Tighten here. Press back your butt. And core. And inhale. If you want a little more support, you can touch the floor. Try not to let your shoulders move to or roll it forward. Okay, inhale. And back. And last one is you're going to go to the knee, press back, push through your butt and hamstring. Stretch like you're reaching around the corner of the room or around the rim of the room. To the knee, press back. Inhale. To the knee, press. Inhale. Exhale. I might have changed your breath. You can do either or really. And inhale, exhale, two more. Press and last one and four and press reverse. You're gonna go heel to the buttocks, to the knee, touch, extend 90 degrees. Push back and 45 degrees, curl the heel to the buttocks for hamstring, to the knee, extend. Press, curl, and three, and two, and one, and extend, rest. Other side, swing it around. Okay, so we're gonna stretch those body parts along the mat, right, align, okay? Legs are gonna go 45 degrees, hand behind the head, hand on the floor. Extend out and circles, one, and two. I don't know about you, but my butt hurts on either side. <laughs> Six, and seven. Am I wiggling? You can tell me if I am. Two more, and one. Okay, reverse, but inner thigh. Yep, I'm moving a little bit. I need to squeeze and tighten it up. And, ooh, this side's tired, more tired than the other side. See how my shoulder is up? And, two, four, and one, hold. Okay, so now I'm gonna go 90 degrees. Inhale, press, press back 45 degrees, so it's a straight leg. Tighten here. Now every time you kick forward, your low abs tighten. Inhale. Exhale. Probably moving that hip a little bit. I want to extend out through that sit bone. Two more. And one. Bicycle. You're going to press to the knee. Press back. Stretch to the knee. Squeeze back. Inhale, inhale, good, keep going, a couple more, two more, and one, reverse, heel, knee, extend, push your butt, squeeze the hamstring, extend. The reason you put your foot to the knee is so you can get into that inner thigh a little bit as well. Burning. A couple more. 
Oh my gosh, my piriformis is already tight. Two more. And one. Okay, wrap. Okay, lie on your back. Last thing, guys. Yay! Okay, stretch it out again. Right leg straight. Bring that left knee across the chest. Oh. Okay, foot into the hip. You and you, we haven't done this as much together. You're gonna push that knee down to the floor. If you can. Bring that right knee back up with the other leg. Oh. I'm just try to move that around. Oh, I'm burning. Other leg, left leg straight. Okay, so my knee's in line with my rib, right? I'm gonna cross it slightly over the midline. Just to try to pull right into this little area. So I push that knee toward me across the body. Okay, then I'm gonna hook that foot into my hip corner and push that knee down. It's funny, I can hear, this side isn't as tight as my left side. Okay, so then you're gonna keep that angle, that left, that right, sorry, right leg over the left knee. Okay, and then pull in. And let's circle. Actually, let's hug that knee in a little bit. Ooh, tight. And stretch, good. Get a little stretch, whatever stretch you need to do. If you need to stretch your back, all those fun things. And that's it. I miss you guys. I hope this works for you. I hope you get to watch it. And again, reach out to me if there's certain things that you want to work on or if there's anything that you want to break down. Um, we can really do some focal, focal work with that, whatever it is that you want to work on. All right. Take care, you guys, through this coronavirus. I hope you guys are all safe. I love you and miss you. Bye.